first look with the HREs and they're looking pretty badass. <laughs> We are moving basically everything one car spot back. I'm actually taking the Mustang with me today, but the other cars need to be moved a little bit. You guys will see the cold start on YouTube Shorts and TikTok, but it sort of hesitated, but did make, make it. Uh, this is the first time we've turned it on in probably a week or so, so I'm not necessarily surprised it struggled a little bit at least. And unfortunately, the Mustang is... Mustang again, move the Lambo back, put the other Mustang on the jump starter. I think we're all getting sort of a little frustrated with it. My dad was not too happy by the fact that it was. But yeah, we're we're going to move the Mustang behind the house again. I told him that's what I wanted to do because nobody's driving it anyways. So there's very little point of it to even be on this side of the driveway if nobody's gonna drive it. There was a spider dangling over here that blew hella hard on it and it flew. But a part of me was like, what if that shit flies back and like I wouldn't be able to put the window up fast enough? So that crossed my mind, but fortunately it did not fly back or it probably swung right into my face. But, yeah, just running errands today, nothing else really to add. I have a ton of footage to edit. I've been editing since last week on footage that I recorded like probably over a month and a half ago or about a month ago. So we are basically going through pretty old footage and piecing them together for the vlogs, uh, but also shorts and TikToks and stuff. So you guys might be seeing stuff a little out of order. Um, and the only way you would really be able to tell is based on packages I talk about. You know, it might be out of order where one video I talk about how I already got a package and in another video I'm talking about how I haven't gotten that specific package. Uh, there also might be some inconsistencies with the build itself. Uh, like for right now, I have HREs in the car. Uh, by the time you guys see this video, uh, the build might be uh, like completely different. It might even be supercharged by then, but, but you guys wouldn't know unless you guys keep up with uh, shorts and TikToks, which get posted every day. So that's more up to date. Uh, but everything else like vlogs are posted uh, way later on because I only post one vlog a week, but I might be increasing it uh, to two vlogs a week uh, very soon just so we could sort of have um, a little more consistency between the longer form content and the shorter form content. But regardless, super busy over here for some reason. I don't know why. It's never this busy. I mean, there's always at least some traffic, but yeah, I mean, the church is in the corner. So like maybe there's a church event or something. Uh, got a five series over here. Don't miss my M5 at all. It's been about three months now since I gave up the M5 for this car, and I have zero regrets about it. I never regretted the decision. Um, I definitely don't do now, but we got a freaking dog on the loose over here. I hope it does not go into the street. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. It's a little weird over here. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. This traffic is uh, a bit weird. I don't know. It's like super backed up. Maybe I shouldn't have gone considering it's red light, but, well, the bus is like right behind me anyway, so nobody can get by us if they need to make a left turn over here. But yeah, probably just going to record clips here and there, might get some reactions, hopefully on video, because I do get a decent amount of reactions, but for some reason it's very rarely on video. Um, so yeah, hopefully we do get stuff on video. Obviously we got the HREs and stuff now, so 
I'm expecting a little more attention with the car and the build, but uh, we'll see. Finally made it to the intersection, um, but it is fairly backed up all the way. I don't know if you guys can see, but the dog is literally still running over here. Uh, okay, you guys are about to see it pass by. I have no idea whose dog this is. Obviously, so I'm not. I'm not sure if this dog is running away from home. Is it running back to home? But oh my goodness, it's. It, oh, oh my god. What the hell did I just see right now, bro? Like the. His dog literally ran across a busy ass intersection right now. You guys might be wondering why not save the dog for one. <laughs> if I try to do that, I, if I come back, my car will probably be missing. Secondly, uh, who knows? I, I feel like those little dogs are the ones that are super feisty. And I'm not trying to get my ass beat by a dog right now. I have no idea where it went. direct and go a different way to my destination. I'm not the best person with directions, as everybody knows. Everybody that knows me knows that I am not good with directions. So uh, let's not try to get lost over here because <laughs> the chances of me getting lost somehow uh, isn't that isn't that unlikely so um, sure I'll Let's get where West I need to go Linden Avenue Hayward arrival time on this route is similar to Jackson Street State Route 92 West Hayward turn left on B Street yeah for example I just ended up on the wrong almost turned on the wrong street so that already uh, says plenty. So I already got two reactions. Two different people at two different intersections gave me thumbs up. Unfortunately, I missed both reactions, but uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. It actually happened on two back-to-back -back intersections. There was a father and son crossing the street, like maybe like a teenager. Uh, he gave me a thumbs up. And then in the next intersection, uh, there was two people walking across the street as well. And one of them gave me a thumbs up. Uh, so yeah, we are getting reactions in the Mustang. We might actually get more reactions in the Mustang than the Lambo, if I'm being honest. I think with the Lambo, maybe people are more hesitant to say anything. But with the Mustang, I don't know, I feel like usually people in Mustangs and shit are like hella chill, like people in muscle cars and stuff, so uh, it's like a different dynamic, so people are, I think, more inclined to give me compliments in the Mustang. Obviously, the reactions aren't as crazy as the reactions I would get in the Lambo, but I think I do get more reactions, so pretty cool.
done with that stop. On to the next one. We got some road between this stop and the next one, so might have a little bit of fun with it. These are the new Yukons. Just kind of smooth, actually. I know everybody's getting back into like Escalades, and obviously everybody loves ranges and stuff. I remember back back in the day, like 10, 15 years ago, everybody was hyping up Tahoes. Everybody was like, literally, everybody was getting Tahoes, and shits were hot too. Um, but yeah, time changed for sure. Nice ride, man. I like yours too, bro. Thanks. What year is that? It's 77 compared to a 71. Okay, nice. That's really freaking nice. <laughs> Did you redo everything or yeah. yourself or you got a shop? Oh, really? That's freaking cool. You live around here? Yeah. Okay. justice but like the wheels and everything like the setup was really freaking badass uh and yeah really cool dude um i was hoping i'll get to pull up next to him so i could uh, talk to him um so i'm glad that i did uh because uh yeah that was that was pretty awesome and he obviously liked the mustang as well but uh i would say his ride was a lot cooler than mine If this car was supercharged over uh, stock, I'll tell you that much. I'll, I'll take the 900 horsepower Mustang over 
uh, trying to use this against the GTR. Interesting situation. I got the wheels put on yesterday for the front. Uh, didn't get the brake calipers painted, and I still need to get my wheel situation situated on the back in terms of the tires, I guess, uh, because the shop didn't have tires that were any bigger for the rear uh, than what is already on the car. So, unfortunately, I couldn't upgrade the wheels. Uh, don't have lowering springs either, so I need to look into the lowering springs and uh, get the wheels or the tires for the rear uh, my dad hates <laughs> hates the look of the car uh, he talked about how much he hated it almost the entire time we were at the tire shop uh, he sort of he likes the HREs and the design and everything and the finish on them but he hates the wheel set up in the back he, thought, he thinks that I should have got HREs all around and the drag setup in the back looks uh, stupid, essentially. Uh, so, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, obviously, I don't necessarily mind. Obviously, it is a very uh, unique look, to say the least. Uh, one that I don't think I, I've seen anybody else do on a 2024 Mustang yet. I've seen uh, it on older Mustangs online. Uh, but yeah, the look is definitely unique, and I've never done anything with the drag setup before. So, uh, definitely a change of pace in terms of even mods that I would normally do. That was a pretty fun ride, but yeah, at this point, my dad and I are going to actually grab dinner. Normally, we don't grab dinner together, but today we are going to get some takeout. Uh, probably going to stop next door because they do have boba there and it looks pretty good we never have been there so i do want to check that out to see if they have anything interesting that i might enjoy uh, we are going to take the gls going to record maybe here and there and come back home i do have a bunch of frames sort of like the ones you guys see in the background uh got some new frames so we're going to be putting that up probably tonight as well or maybe one of these upcoming days so you guys will be seeing that In today's adventures, we are running a work errand and we are taking the Mustang, not surprisingly. Literally at the same intersection, all this happened. 
at somebody going absolutely nuts. Actually, at the same intersection that the Shelby pulled up, somebody saw the Mustang and was hyping me up, but I couldn't even hear what he was saying because the car was so loud. And um, yeah, and then I was distracted by him. And then when I looked forward, I noticed that um, the car in front of me had already gone and it was a green light so I gassed it and then since it was a warm day my tires ended up spinning not to lose control per se uh, but we were basically doing a burnout uh, unintentionally and uh, yeah another instance somebody asked me uh, what the power upgrades were on the car and I was telling him about how I was doing the supercharger and stuff because he saw the wheel set up and you know knew something was going on with this Mustang man that's Saturday Today's it's not even Saturday. Got that Friday afternoon, late afternoon, evening traffic at this point. And yeah. So yeah, I've been recording videos. Obviously, I've been doing POVs for, I don't know, maybe like all, probably almost a year. I'm not really sure. It's been, it's been some time. It hasn't been that long since I've been doing uh, POVs. And uh, yeah, I've gotten a co couple of comments where people are like, you, you're talking too much. A lot of people don't say anything really in terms of the POVs and stuff. But, you know, on the rare occasion somebody says something, you know, I've had a couple of situations where people have said that I talk too much. And I have no issue running like a whole vlog, like 20, 30 minutes long of just driving and like little to no talking. I just don't want y'all to get bored with like nothing happening especially if i'm not saying anything and like there's like literally nothing happening in traffic so you know you guys you guys might get exhaust notes and stuff out of it but like i don't want it to be like dead silent or it's like hella awkward where i'm not saying anything and you know nothing's happening whatsoever um so i don't i don't know i'm trying to think about it i don't know how to mix it up um you know unless my pov drives are a mix between little talking and some action but it sounds like some people just want uh, the raw drive uh, regardless of whether it's entertaining or not um, but yeah so auto something to think about something we'll definitely consider Loki starting to rain too so That's probably not the greatest thing for on slicks, but you know, it's just sprinkling right now. So I guess uh, we'll see what happens. At this point, seems like it's actually starting to sprinkle, sprinkle. 